And Victoria has moved to protect itself from the growing threat in New South Wales. Let's go to Melbourne now where Hashayla Kumara-Wansa joins us now. Hashayla, a late announcement from the state government this afternoon. What are the restrictions? Good evening, Ricardo. The Victorian government just a short time ago declared the whole of New South Wales and the ACT a red zone, effectively shutting the border to both jurisdictions from 11.59pm tonight. Now, Victorians on red zone permits can still return home. However, they must quarantine for 14 days, and this will also apply to anyone on an exemption as well. While the news of a border closure had been hinted at for a number of days now, uh, uh, the strongest indication that it was imminent came from Premier Dan Andrews himself when he suggested earlier today that time was effectively running out for Victorians to avoid being left stranded at the border. I would say to all of those Victorians who are in Sydney uh, and in New South Wales more broadly, if you're coming home, then you better be quick about it. Many warnings were given about exactly this sort of outcome where the situation can change. Border conditions can change. Permit conditions can change. We've been, we've been abundantly clear. If you are there and you are coming home any time soon, I'd come back today. And, Ricardo, anyone caught illegally trying to cross that border will face a fine of up to $5,000. OK, Hushala Kamara, once they're there in Melbourne, thank you.